Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create a dummy test file of any size in Windows. So maybe you're testing out a program or app and you need to run some files through it of various sizes to kind of see how it performs, or maybe you want to test the upload speed to your web server or FTP server and you want specific size files and you don't want to have to try and create some huge file by adding data to it. So it's just a pretty simple command. You could just put in the data you need and make whatever kind of file you like. So I have some samples here. So the command is FSU till file create new, then the path, and then the name, and then the size. And here's a little cheat sheet of the size. I'll put that in the description. So uh, this is going to make a one gigabyte test file. And if you want to make it two gigabytes, you could just, you know, two times that, three times that, whatever, to get the uh, number you need. So we're going to copy this. And we're going to open up an administrative command prompt. And you can just kind of right click to paste it in there. And if it doesn't paste for some reason, then you could go to the edit menu and paste it in there. Press enter. And there's the file right there. So if we right click on it, properties, we got one gigabyte exactly. And you can see it didn't put any extension, you know, it's just a blank file. So let's say you wanted to make a text file. So we're going to make a hundred megabyte text file. So same thing, same path, just the file name, we're going to put .txt on the end. And the size is going to be different because we're doing 100 megabytes. Let's copy that. Okay, so there's our 100 megabyte text file. We double click it. You can see it's an empty file, but it's 100 megabytes. If we right click it, go to properties, 100 megabytes. So pretty simple. So like I said, administrative command prompt. Uh, Put in this path, make sure it's a valid path to where you want it to go, make sure you have room on the drive, obviously, and then put the file name. If you want to put an extension, you could put the extension. Uh, make sure you got the quotes if you have spaces there. And then the file sizes, just pull from here or do the math, and then you'll have whatever size you need. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.